Hi everybody, I want to say thanks for taking a moment to uh, watch the video on this car. I think video just tells a story about a car way better than any set of pictures ever can. So let's get right to it. This is a 2007 Hyundai Sonata. It's got the 3.3 engine in it, which is by far the more desirable option than the 2.4. Uh, lots more power. Doesn't really use more much more gas though. Uh, excellent, excellent engine. Possibly the best V6 uh, Hyundai ever made. So I'm going to go ahead and walk around this vehicle and show you that it's got no dents and the paint's real good all the way around. And I want you to notice how nice and clear those headlights are. I also want you to notice that those are genuine factory alloy wheels, not the cheap steel wheels that you find on so many uh, vehicles but real factory alloys. Okay, now let's take a look inside. I'm going to show you the back seat first. Oops, I guess I better unlock it. It does have a remote key fob. I mean, this back seat practically looks like nobody's ever sat in it. It's in really, really good condition. Look at the backs of the two front seats they're in good shape all of the door panels look like that all of them the rear decks in good shape and I'd also like you to see the uh, headlining fabric you know that's something that let me turn the brightness up that's something a lot of people don't always notice or at least don't photograph and if you look all the way as I pan forward the headlining fabric is in perfect, perfect condition. This is a really well-maintained vehicle. All right, now I'm going to get in the front. And I've got some real nice heavy-duty floor mats in there. Um, the other thing I want to show you is, uh, first of all, it's only got 106,000 miles. Uh, that's the smog. I actually got that done today on August 8th. Passed, of course. There's the original owner's manual, which I still have. Now, I want you to notice that my foot is nowhere near the gas pedal. This is one of those cars you just turn the key and it starts right up. And it starts like that every time. Now, I've got the air conditioning on. The air conditioning blows real cold. Obviously, I can't convey the temperature through a video, but you can hear how strong the blower motor is. These blow really, really well. Um, stereo works. Uh, all the instrumentation works. I'd like you to notice how smooth the idle is. Notice that that needle is not moving at all, like even a little bit. Um, the temperature gauge stays in the middle or below at all times. Now I'm going to rev it up so you can hear it. Engine is really, really strong. Transmission shifts absolutely perfectly. Now I'm just gonna go through the vehicle and show you that everything works. There's your driver's window. There's your passenger window. There's your passenger rear. And notice that it goes all the way down. It's not one of those windows that goes halfway or two-thirds down they go all the way down and also notice that they go up and down with no effort there's no stopping there's no shuttering uh, there's no interruption whatsoever um, the power locks all work I'm gonna sh demonstrate that for you on the key fob so they're all unlocked now as you can see And you can probably see that one if I get my arm out of the way. Okay, so I'm just going to hit that lock button. And now they're all locked. So the power locks do all work. Um, the trunk release button works, which is down there. The uh, fuel door release button works. The power mirror, uh, they work in all eight directions. So I'll... Hold on. Oh, you have to have the key in for the power mirrors to adjust on this car. So, 
there's left, there's right, there's up, there's down. And on that one, there's right, there's left, there's up, there's down. So that covers the mirrors, that covers the locks, that covers the windows, the stereo, uh, air conditioning, all the instrumentation works. Um, there's of course, no check engine light when you start the car that has no codes. In fact, all of the car computer monitors are set if you understand what that means. Uh, when you smog a vehicle, you're allowed one unset monitor for a car 2001 and newer. Um, this one has no unset monitors. They're all set. Um, anyway, that's about it. Oh, cruise control does work. Um, it does. And just look at the dashboard. I mean, there's no cracks. There's no lifts. Everything's in good shape. Okay, I'm going to take you under the hood for a second. Okay, so you can see this engine's real clean. The battery's nice and clean. There's no corrosion on the terminals. Um, first thing you want to do when you look at any used car is you always want to examine the oil dipstick. You want to see the quality of the oil. What you want to see is that there's no bubbles or milkiness to the oil. Because if there's bubbles, that means that water's getting in the oil, and that means head gasket problems, which of course is a very common problem in our hot desert climate. And then of course you want to look at the transmission fluid, and uh, you want to make sure that it's got translucency to it, that it's not black and sludgy as well. So the fluids on this car are tip top. Uh, everything runs cool. The car never gets below the middle, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, if you're looking for a super nice, reliable car for under $5,000, you found it. Oh, and real quick, let me just show you this. The uh, tire tread life on these is really good. It's got rear disc brakes, not drums. They're in good shape. And again, there are the factory alloy wheels up close. Thanks for watching.